Boom. All right, what's up, you guys? It's Royce Jacob. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about my two favorite pure play inflation hedges of Bitcoin and silver. You guys, the CPI data just came out earlier this week, and inflation is running hotter than ever. This news, unfortunately, didn't come as much of a surprise if you've been paying attention. But inflation is at higher levels than it's been in 30 years. Absolutely staggering. And in a world, where the dollar continues to become more and more devalued. You want hard money assets, at least I want hard money assets, like Bitcoin and silver in my personal portfolio, okay? A lot of you know that I do play a lot of stocks surrounding these assets, but today we are focusing on the base assets, the big dogs themselves, Bitcoin and silver, okay? So let's quickly go over the topic rundown and then we'll dive on in. In front of us, trading view where we will be simply covering the 24 seven markets that are Bitcoin spot and silver spot prices. So. We'll take a look at these on the charts, you guys. We are going to primarily be focusing on short to medium term. The market's moving quick. Winter is coming. Things are getting a little more volatile. So we'll keep this one short to medium. Maybe go to end of the year price target to the latest. But we are going to take a look at those on the charts. In terms of news, I do want to quickly cover this article covering those inflation numbers with you. So fastest inflation in 31 years puts more heat on Washington. So we'll quickly read over a few short paragraphs here just to get a very general idea as always, you guys, I recommend you go look into this more for yourself just to get a better idea of what's going on in the macro. But to keep it short and sweet for you guys for the purpose of this video, we'll just cover a few paragraphs that I feel are necessary to get a general idea of what that report looked like. The CPI data, consumer price index data. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much the bulk of the fundamentals for this video. Aside from that, after we read through this, I do want to, you know what, we'll just read through this now. So this is a post by Wall Street Bets on Instagram. Follow them on Instagram. Follow me if you want to, at Royce Jacob. But quote, these scam coins are getting crazy. Someone just shilled me. These are the, the, the following selling points. 27 trillion supply, no supply cap. One node, 25% of supply minted in the last six months. 1% of holders own 30%. Never mind. That's the US dollar. So that's pretty staggering. Again, Wall Street Bets, although they are a, a kind of a comedy-based, meme-based page, they still post a lot of good stuff. So this 100% resonated with me. I saw this. I was like, damn, that's crazy. And uh, the crazy thing is, what makes it crazy is that it's true okay so just keep that in mind again you guys there are a lot of hard money assets out there a lot safer places especially in 2021 to park your capital as opposed to the us dollar not saying don't hold dollars i hold plenty of dollars but definitely stay diversified and keep your money uh again always up to you but this is what i do keep a lot of your net worth a good chunk of your net worth in hard money assets okay and that's why i'm talking to you guys today about bitcoin and silver in the wake of this super hot inflationary data okay so that's the rundown for the primary focus of this video again we'll take a look at the charts after we read three read through those guys and then at the end of the video after we cover these on the charts, we do have a sponsored review. I appreciate it a lot if you guys stick around. Our sponsors mean a lot to the Waves fam. Uh, but if not, no worries at all. This sponsored review is by a precious metals-based company called Nevada King. So Nevada's new strategic landowner in the world's most prolific gold mining trend. Nevada King, we aren't going to be taking a look at the stock on the charts today. Always recommend you guys with these sponsored reviews, always go on to do your own due diligence. Take a look at this for yourself. Understand if it's right for you, but just want to share with you guys some of the bullet points here on their homepage. We'll take a look at the homepage of their website, and then we'll close it out by taking a look at their investor presentation at a few pages here that I feel are relevant uh, to share with you guys. And, and again, just give you an idea of what these guys do. Um, if you want to go on to look into them more for yourselves and maybe consider picking them up for yourselves in your portfolio. Okay, so that's how We'll close out the video again sponsors meet a lot you guys that keep the waves moving in so i appreciate it if you guys give the video a like show them some love i'll link all of their uh all of their information down below ticker symbol otc vk mtf in the u.s over the counter markets and uh yeah i'll link their website down below as well so you can do further dd if you choose to all right that's at the end of the video so let's cover this cpi data and uh then we'll uh, we already covered that pretty much. CPI data, and we'll just jump straight into the charts. All right. So the consumer price index rose 6.2% in October from a year earlier, its sharpest increase since 1990. That is bad news for President Biden and the Fed. Poor JP. Okay. So consumer prices surged at the fastest pace in more than three decades in October as fuel costs picked up, supply chains remained under pressure, and rents moved higher. Worrying news for economic policymakers at the Federal Reserve and for Biden White and the Biden White House. Overall prices rose 6.2% over the past 12 months, which is 
insane when you're talking about moves from the dollar. The fastest pace since 1990, and inflation began to accelerate again on a monthly basis, okay? So again, you guys, in a world where the dollar is being devalued, you want these hard money assets. My two personal favorites, my two my two plays in this in this realm, in this inflation hedge realm. Um, and again, you guys know I play a lot of stocks uh, regarding surrounding these two assets. But if you're to boil it down to the two OGs, to the two big dogs, once again, it is Bitcoin and silver. Okay, so let's kick it off with the king. Kick it off with BTC. As of right now, you guys know Bitcoin since reaching its previous, since reaching its local. I mean, I guess it's all time, all time high. But uh, recent high as well, at just under $69,000, we saw quite the sell-off over the past few days. Since then, we have been going sideways. This sideways price action worries me a little bit in the sense that a lot of the time when you see something drop very... Uh, especially Bitcoin in these hyper growth markets, when you see something drop se uh, severely like this, significantly like this, two big old red candles right here, followed by sideways price action a lot of times that is followed by another uh, brief yet significant move to the downside so will we see more downside price action it's very possible that's why i have this other green this kind of lower tier green arrow drawn right here uh, but to sum it up you guys even if we do see another move to the downside i cannot imagine us going any lower than sixty-two thousand dollars and actually basing out around there prior to resuming our rally so i will say you guys i do think by the end of 2021 bitcoin is going to be significantly higher than it is now short term maybe we see more downside maybe we don't maybe it just seems like there's a lot less selling pressure here and there's a lot more buying pressure here i imagine on this dip there are going to be more people that's our um that are compelled to buy as opposed to sell there aren't many sellers in this market you guys know that and at the same time we did retest the previous high on the on the current uptrend so this high over here reversion to the mean that we set at the beginning of this month we're basing out nicely on that previous high so i wouldn't be surprised at all if we see a reversal right here continue the uptrend but if we do see more downside technically as long as we are above sixty thousand dollars we're still technically setting in a higher low on this uptrend and uh, i remain bullish so when it comes to upside price targets uh you guys know i, I cover these all the time it's kind of squish those together because it gets a little congested i do think that if bitcoin breaks this green line right here it will have reclaimed this previous ascending channel that i was in for the better for for a solid like month or so month and a half broke below that since then hasn't been floating below that but if it does break back above this if it goes on to use this sign line which is a very long-term uh line of just just trend line in general for bitcoin both support and resistance in the past that would take us december 1st by the end of this month which is very optimistic but hey it's bitcoin whatever it's, it's always possible that'll take us to about ninety thousand dollars okay so again keep in mind you guys uh, a lot of my price targets are uh, almost all my price targets when you're talking uh when we're talking charting and technicals are always based on when my trend lines are struck so uh i always encourage you guys go into the charts for yourself draw your own trend lines and uh just, just keep an eye on it okay stay on your toes again we're 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 getting into the volatile months which is very exciting but so you gotta you gotta be on it okay so that's bitcoin let's move on to good old silver so silver is in breakout mode silver has been performing beautifully over the past week or so so since we kicked off the month november 3rd let's go from silver's low over here to where we're at uh, to the high we just saw earlier today that's almost a 10 percent jump so this month already in the past week silver has seen a 10 percent move up which for silver which for a precious metal is very very impressive price action and uh even in the wake of or obviously in the wake of this inflationary data um silver has been holding in strong and that makes sense because silver has been underperforming a lot of the market um, for too long, in my opinion. I think silver should be at fifty dollars personally in this world of hyperinflation of a devaluing dollar. I think silver deserves to at least be at its previous all-time high back in two thousand eleven at about fifty dollars. So fifty dollars from twenty-five, obviously a two x. I think that's very possible over the course of. Uh, 2022 if i'm being honest again silver has a lot of utility as well on top of being a scarce uh precious metal so that is kind of my macro view on silver but short term i'll just talk to you guys about my end of the month uh end of month price target right here so i think it's very likely now that silver has reclaimed this previous channel similar to what we were just talking about with bitcoin silver has reclaimed this previous ascending channel right here that i was in from the end of september all the way to november 1st uh, again as we kicked off the month we broke below it but since then we've seen a nice 10 percent rally that we were just taking a look at broke back into this ascending channel and uh, again in this environment of hyperinflation it only makes sense to me that we make our way up slowly but surely actually this would be pretty quick like two weeks um, at the time of recording this if this trend line if the top line of resistance on this ascending channel shorter term ascending channel um, coincides with 
this same cyan trend line similar to bitcoin this previous uh, just a significant line of both support and resistance in the past for silver this would take us november 23rd november 24th to uh about 27 uh 20 $27.78 just about 28 bucks okay which from current levels represents another plus 10 percent of upside again this just happened in a week if silver does see a nice rally i wouldn't be surprised at all to see that happen in, in 10 to 14 days okay so a uh, very promising price action for silver of course that's good news for silver mining stocks you guys uh that said that's pretty much the short-term analysis again with silver price target if silver really starts ripping you guys it it only makes sense to me that we go to revisit our all-time highs back at 50 dollars. it's crazy that silver is so significantly below its all-time high uh for just the utility and actual when you look into the rarity of silver relative to gold and a lot of other precious metals silver is actually pretty damn rare so silver very appealing to me it's it's my personal favorite play if you guys have been following if you guys have been part of the Waves fan for a while, you guys have been following the channel, you guys would know I've been a fan of silver for a long time. Definitely slowed down a bit, but right now, silver is, is picking back up. It's getting exciting, and, and I love to see it, okay? So let me know in the comments down below, you guys, what you currently think about Bitcoin silver, what you think about inflation. This is more of a macro video. And uh, again, you guys, got to make these videos for the sponsors as well, okay? understand this is a business okay so that said you guys let me know in the comments down below uh what your thoughts on inflation are what your favorite plays um in the inflation hedge sector are if you're fans of bitcoin and silver always love hearing what you guys have to say so i'll catch you guys down below again i appreciate it if you stick around for the sponsored review but if not appreciate you watching um until next time okay so let's hop in to this review of good old nevada king nevada's new strategic landowner in the world's most prolific gold mining trend who are we so I'll read over a few key points here and then we'll dive in to a few pages from the investor presentation who are we who we are a dominant explorer and developer focused exclusively on the battle mountain trend nevada's most prolific gold mining trend nevada's fourth largest active claim holder with a plan to become nevada's second largest by 2022 lastly a well capitalized and highly experienced team with the goal to disrupt nevada exploration you guys know always love like the, we've covered a lot of these companies in the past i always prefer companies that are based within the united states okay it just makes me feel better about the investment um Okay, looking at that, uh, the United States fastest growing mineral claim holder. Good stuff right there. If, uh, I'm sure if you guys are involved in this space, you would recognize a lot of the names here. Coera, Helka, um, Ken Ross, big names. Okay, building the Nevada portfolio. Acquire via staking. When possible, stake project directly, avoiding underlying NSRs. Option payments and work commi uh, commitments. 98% of Nevada King's ground is royalty free. Concentrate efforts along Battle Mountain trends. An identified mineral trend possessing obvious mineral potential and strong name place recognition targeting elephant deposits concentrate efforts per, uh, proximal to areas currently being mined or explored by well-known operators go district scale focus on mineral lands that were previously held and explored by major mining exploration entities okay so that's that you guys nice quotes from mr thomas kaplan quote people think production is how you make money it is not it is selling something at a high price that's how you make money it's all about those markups if you guys are in business you would understand that you are in business if you're watching these videos you're an entrepreneur you work for yourself okay so news and updates not going to read these but november 9th november 8th november 1st three pieces of news three updates from them since the beginning of the month just over the past 11 days at the time of recording once again it's november 11th that's great you guys that's very consistent you want to see companies making tangible progress making consistent progress and keeping their investors posted so i respect that uh, let's move into this nevada king is once again a dominant explorer and developer focused exclusively on the battle mountain trend nevada's most prolific gold mining trend nevada's third largest active flame holder so they said fourth largest on the home page i mean they're growing at such a rate that they can't even can't keep up their their uh website but nevada's third largest active claim holder little asterisk right there a well capitalized and highly experienced team with a goal to disrupt nevada exploration key people will only look over the two founders but i respect how they put the whole team right here this high up in the presentation always say this you guys not only for sponsored reviews but for any stock that we ever do an analysis on ever any stock that we ever look at always go on to look at the team okay a strong team makes up for a strong and successful company in the long term you want to make sure there's a competent team behind the company and stock itself okay don't only bet on the horse bet on the jockey all right so uh paul matisek founder and executive chairman serial entrepreneur geochemist and geologist with over 40 years of experience in the mining industry uh you guys can read over this again you guys i encourage you guys to go go look over all of this if you're considering investing uh colin kettle 
Mr. Kettle is founder and executive chairman of Palisades Gold Corp, Canada's resource-focused merchant bank with $420 million in assets under management and growing, as well as founder and executive chairman of Newfound Gold Corp, an $800 million market cap gold explorer. So, competency team, you guys, again, did a brief reading over all of these guys. They look solid. There's a lot of years of experience here. And again, bet on Use a different analogy. Bet on the driver, not just the vehicle, okay? Not just the car. Why Nevada? Why now? This world closed out, you guys. Why Nevada? Why now? Nevada is rated by the Fraser Institute as the world's number one mining district. The Battle Mountain Gold Trend is the most endowed gold belt on planet Earth. When Nevada King began acquiring key land positions in 2016, there was a unique opportunity to build strategic claim holdings via staking. That window is now closed. Okay, so again, cool company, you guys. Always love companies based in the good old US of A. Once again, I will link their website and uh, their ticker symbol down below if you want to check them out for yourself. If you're still watching, I greatly appreciate you. It truly means a lot. Again, let me know in the comments down below what you think of Bitcoin, what you think of silver at this moment in time. And uh, if you guys are loaded up for a world where the dollar continues to deflate um, or if you have opposing opinions let me know down below just rationalize your thoughts okay so uh, i'll catch you guys next time have a great one until then always remember take action make waves peace